Hi everyone, it's Tracy Lazat here today to share with you how I set up my booth for an outdoor art show. Now the space they've given me is roughly 10 by 10 feet, which is just enough space for me to set up my trim line canopy. I love this canopy, it's great against all weather. Um, this canopy along with the white uh, pro panels that I'm about to hang up right now and all my indoor um, show equipment can all be gotten from the Flourish Company. They're a fantastic company to work with, it, work with and I highly recommend them. Um, as you can see, I do a lot of customization to my tent from the bird banner up above to my tablecloth and these four weights that I just hang from the corners of my tent. Really important to make. Um, they're just out of PVC pipe and concrete that you can get at the hardware store. Even the burlap walls or something, just for show, something I made to set off my black and white frames to give everything a really country, homey feel in my booth. I want people to walk in and kind of imagine my artwork on their walls. You have about seven to eight seconds to impress someone when they walk by. You know, when they're at a show, there's a lot to see. It's kind of overwhelming and you want to be able to stand out from everyone else. You want them to come into the booth so that you have a chance to talk to them, get to know people, introduce your art and kind of explain what you're all about. You can see that my walls, my burlap walls are very wrinkly and I've learned over time that I just got to let it be. and. As the day goes on, the wrinkles kind of relax and kind of fade in the background. Now the hooks I use, uh, they're just regular curtain hooks. You can get those at Walmart. And if you'd like more information on the equipment I use, like my trim line canopy from the Flourish Company um, and my desk there, that's for artists, that's from Pro Panels, along with a few other websites, I'm going to have all the links located in the blog post that it goes with this video on my website. So make sure you go there and check it out. This art desk that I'm decorating right now is pretty nifty. It folds down in two parts and makes it really easy to pack away in my minivan. Yes, everything you see here, I can pack it down and put it in my little Toyota Sienna. I take out the seats, fold down the back row, load everything up, and after the art show, I unpack everything, put the seats back in, and I'm back to being a soccer mom during the weekdays. That's pretty much um, how it goes for me. Um, there we are. I am all done. That's what it looks like setting up for a show. Condensed in like, oh, that probably took me about three hours total. Condensed down to under three minutes. Uh, not bad if you ask me. Here's what the show looks like. Everyone's still setting up. We're getting ready to go. This is a three-day event that runs Friday through Sunday. This is one of 26 shows that I participated in this year, and you can see these shows on my website on my show page. Well, now that I'm all set up, I'm ready for the show to begin. Yay, I'm very excited. Love Showtime. Uh, this is a very unique show. This show is uh, the Common Ground Fair. It's a country fair that's unique to Maine. It's run by the Maine Organic Farmers and Gardeners Association. Uh, it's pretty special. You have to be from Maine to be a participant in this show. I think most vendors are have to be. I know in the craft center that I'm at, you have to be from Maine and everything has to be made in Maine and handmade. Um, if you're a food vendor, everything has to be organically grown. There are very specific requirements to be part of this uh, unique country fair. I love it. It's a wonderful fair, fair in the fall. It runs in September. Uh, it's something definitely if you're in the area, you should check out. Uh, and if you want to know more about me selling art, how to make art, I share it all over on my website. You can find it at tracylazatstudios.com. Hey, I hope you had fun watching this video. Maybe even learned a thing or two that will be helpful for you in the future. And uh, I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.